G'day guys, welcome back again. I'm going to do a different sort of a pour for you today. I don't know what it's called. I have to figure out a name for it. It's kind of like a flip cup, but I'm going to put my paint into these little containers. It's, um, I think it's for like maybe nibblies, you know, cheese and nuts and maybe dips, not sure, but I got it from the um, supermarket and I thought oh, that one might be good to pour with. So I'm going to layer my colours in here and it's going to be really hard to, you know, flip over. So what I thought I might do is just hold it like this and kind of pour the paint out like that. That's the plan anyway. So never done one of these before, so let's give it a go. Um, my pouring medium today is one I use for my flip cups, three parts blow troll, two parts PVA glue, one part pouring medium and quarter part of water. So using that and that is mixed three parts pouring medium to one part of my global impasto paints. So I've got black and white and then I've got cool red, warm red which is like an orange and then this is warm yellow which is sort of a, a yellowy orange colour so doing those. I've put my white in between the two oranges because I don't want it next to the black because it'll give me grey and I don't want it next to the red because it'll give me pink so doing it that way. Probably will get some pink and some grey anyway, can't be helped. Now I'm using the treadmill silicone today and because I've got 120 grams of mixed paint in each cup, I'm doing four drops in each. I won't do any in the black, but I will put some in the white. Why not? I think the black's probably the most dense colour. And I want that to sink to the bottom. And then I want these lighter colours to sort of pop up through. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's about right. So, right, let's do this. Now, I have no idea whether or not these five colours are going to fit into this. I'm a bit sceptical. I'm thinking it's not going to be big enough. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So, I'm going to put some black in the bottom first. Who knows what's going to happen? It's a bit exciting, really. Okay, now with these, I'm just going to sort of drizzle the, the colours in on top. Probably will mix a little bit. So that's about half of the cup of paint. Oh, it might be a little bit more than half. I don't want to use as much white because I'd like it to be more of a dark painting than a really pale one. So I'm not going to put as much white in. I won't use all of that. And here we go with this yellowy orange. The colours are seeming to sit on top nicely, so that's a good sign. If your mix was really too thin, the colours would just fall through. This one hasn't got as much, I don't think. Okay, another darker red. I haven't been able to find a really nice dark red. This one's it's more of a pinky red. I really need to find myself a nice dark red from somewhere. Okay, back to the black. Might have enough room to fit all this paint in by, by the looks of it. Not quite up to the top yet. We'll use all this black. And you can see how it's just sitting on top of the other colours. I don't start work till 11 o'clock this morning, so I thought, I've been thinking about doing this for a while, so I thought, oh, I've got to bit of time this morning, let's do a pour. It's something a little bit different, hey? I don't know about you, but I'm tired of seeing the same old things. Let's switch it up a little bit and try something different, hey? In saying that, this might be a total flop. It might not work at all. I've never done this before. Just might not work at all. 
All right, that's that one done. And a little bit of white. Now I've only got the orange, the darker orange in, in those two, so I'm going to have to finish it off with this one. This one's going to have a bit more of the lighter yellowy orange in it. That's okay. And then I'll put some white on the top of that one. Actually, you know what I've done? I've used up all my black. Now I'm going to have to put my red on there. Actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I can just put it here, most of it. And I'll just put a little bit on here, finish it off. Whoa, whoops. Slippery. Slippery when wet. So I figured it's going to be way too hard to flip this over. I mean, I could, I could possibly flip it over. I'd have to just turn this upside down on it. But then trying to, when it's flipped over, trying to drag it down, it might not be so easy. You know, when I've just got one cup to flip over, it's much easier. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work at all. But let's try this. And if it doesn't work, then I can do another one with actually flipping it upside down and, and dragging it. But I, I want to see what happens with this first. Okay, look at all that lovely paint. Now, what am I going to do? Um, I'll just let's just go for it, hey? Pour it out. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. I like the stripies down there. Maybe I should have dragged a bit faster. Look at that. How pretty is that? We could. Keep that. <laughs> Resonant. No. Um, right, so what I think I'll do first is just bring that down. I oh, know I've moved all my lovely little stripey bits, haven't I? Let's torch this and see what's going to happen. See if we can get some cells to pop up. see what it's going to do. I'm just going to move it around and cover the canvas and see what it wants to do. And over it goes. Give this side a bit of a torch now that I've got rid of some of the paint. Not much happening over here at all. I'm just going to cover that little corner there. And we'll just go off the edge there. Probably too much paint actually, I'm thinking different look isn't it totally different to what I would normally get uh, let's pop a little bit of white on this corner here just because it's empty run my finger around what do you guys reckon of this hey Very different. So I've only got a little bit of the yellow showing up really. I don't want to lose all that yellow, so 
I'll leave it there. I'll give it another torch. again and actually flip that over and, and see if, if that makes a difference because I kind of just poured the colors out down here they were really pretty where they were stripy weren't they maybe I should try for that effect okay well that was interesting um, I've, got, I've still got some pretty cells it's um, just I had no idea what to expect and it's really not what I kind of expected at all that's okay Put a little bit of white on this corner. Just because there's not much white there at all. Oops, that's better. So what do you think? Is it okay? Is it ugly? Oh dear. I don't know. All right, let's take you in for a close up. It's certainly different. Very unusual. Reminds me of a little bit of a, a puddle pour where you can see the blocks of colour really well. I'm sure someone would like it. Not really for me. It was interesting. It was fun to do. I'm going to do another one and actually try and flip the that little container, see if that works better. Okay, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.